Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. close to the police department here that officers actually heard the shots. They didn't even get in their cars. They ran over here to this scene. I want to show you the scene here. You have the police chief. You see her standing right there as well as GBI investigators still working the scene in front of this vacant church and the car that was likely involved in this that belonged to the victims is standing right there in front of those investigators. Now this is almost in the center of Barnesville, just blocks away from the Lamar County Courthouse. But here's what we know. This happened around six this evening. Three people were parked in front of this vacant church when someone pulled up and began shooting. We know that two women and one man were shot here. One of the women, she died here at the scene. The others, they've been rushed to nearby hospitals in bad shape tonight. Right now, investigators are trying to look, they're looking at that gas can, trying to figure out if the trio stopped here in need of gas. But the police chief, Belinda Pinamon, told me that the victims are not connected to any of the homes here, so they're trying to figure out exactly what led up to the gunfire. We don't have any idea of what happened so far. We're referring everything to GBI. They're investigating from here. It is normal for us to call in GBI for assistance in a case like this when it's involving more than one person or the circumstances. We don't experience this type of crime often. Barnesville is a very quiet city. We're very friendly here. So this is, is not an uh, uh, everyday occurrence. Yeah, and back here live, you see the GBI crime scene van is here. We understand that at least two of those victims, they ran to a nearby house for help but collapsed. Now, this scene, it attracted quite a crowd of family members and friends here. Uh, murders, again, they're uncommon here in Barnesville. We understand the last happened from the chief. She says the last one happened more than two years ago. Everyone here says they really know each other, that this is a small town. Right now, police, they have not released the names of those victims or any suspect information. For now, live here tonight in Barnesville, in LeVar County. I'm Candace McCowan for WSB Tonight. Just hearing, Candace, what you said about the last situation happening two years ago. Just incredible. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.